Honorable, like I said, this year has been one of the tough times for the education sector, where almost all categories of schools, teachers were on strike. Indeed, UTAC just put out a statement only yesterday saying that they were going to return to the classroom. But they had been on strike for seven weeks, getting to eight weeks. Some schools have had their calendar completely thrown out of gear. What have you made of, I mean, in particular, 2022 of the education sector? Thank you very much. Uh, as you rightly said, education in the country has gone through a lot of uh, turbulence this year. Uh, for the first time in the history of uh, this country, teachers at all levels, that is from kindergarten to the university, have all been on strike at the same time. This has never happened. And uh, it is not good for the development of education in this country. This is because uh, those who are responsible for managing education in this country are taking things for granted. Uh, if teachers go on strike just for the fact that uh, they don't want the head of uh, the service, I don't think you need to allow them to go on strike to resolve the matter. This is a matter they could have resolved behind doors. No need for it. But they waited until the teachers went on strike and then they had to resort to ad hoc measures like going to court to put an injunction on them and all those things before they went back to uh, the classroom.